quick video on how I design the apps that I'm working on or keep track of what needs to be done. Essentially, it's a kind of project management um, tool slash agile kind of development. So the idea is that I kind of list all the ideas that might be useful to the particular app that I'm working on. And then I'll kind of work through them methodically, um, prioritizing them in a couple of different, a few different ways. So um, this is the list of features. So if you look down the left, it's the different ideas of things that I want to build. But I also have features and bugs put in here, which you can see in this column here. And the way it works, is I normally kind of jump into status view and I look at things from the perspective of what's not been started, what I might need help on building, what things are in progress and what's been completed um, to get a rough idea of where I am. And obviously you can kind of scroll down and see which columns are populated. Um, you can also filter by priorities. Um, so sometimes I'll just fling an idea in and if it has no priority on it, it means it's something I don't need to think about now, potentially because of the stage of the project. Um, which I'll talk about in a second. So obviously these are low, medium, high, which is quite traditional. But bringing it back to status view. Um, so for example, <coughs> so excuse me, here are the kind of things that I can collect in the card. So I might say I need help with the particular project or I mean this particular bug or feature. It's not started uh, in progress and things. And then I'll also list what stage of the project I'm at. So if I'm just building out an MVP, some features will need to go into that and then some things I'll look to do once the kind of product's got a little bit of traction or people using it. Um, next, whether or not it's a feature or bug. Um, and I'll also have some things in here, for example, marketing communications might be a particular landing page that needs to be done or a feature write-up. Um, maintenance might be um, something like refactoring the code and things like that. And an optimization, I might be thinking of ways to kind of make that faster or better or more useful. Of course, priority is a bit obvious. Competitor feature. So what I might do here is I might see what my competitors are building and say, okay, I need to build that as well. Or if there's a feature that something might be in addition to what everyone else is doing, I'll list that as a differentiating feature. Um, I also have a focus in terms of what stage the persona is going to come into contact with that particular feature or bug. Um, so for example, core value might be something that is a set, something they're expecting as an essential part of the project. Onboarding might be something in comparison to that where it's like, okay, put a landing page with a video explaining what to do as part of the kind of sign up process. So it's not necessarily um, something that the user is going to be seeing all the time, but might be really important um, to build and value add would be something that I'm thinking, okay, this could be useful in time, but maybe not core feature. And then I'll also kind of list uh, what stage of the funnel that that's at, so I can get a rough idea of what parts of the business I'm focusing on at any one time. And, and that's essentially it. So each time I have an idea, I kind of come in, create a new card, open it up, new feature, not started, it's going to be MVP stage, it's going to be a feature, has it been validated yet? Uh, it's requested by one user so far, so I might want to validate with more users. Uh, Priority is really low because it's not been validated. Um, all the competitors have this particular feature, so maybe that does mean it's validated then, I don't know. Um, it's core product value, and then I can also make some notes. And then essentially, once that's a pool of things, I kind of come in and say, right, I'm going to work on this today, switch to status. And once it's done, I might drag it along into the complete column. So essentially, that's it. I just thought that would be a useful thing to share. Um, so I'll fling that up on uh, YouTube and then look forward to getting your thoughts and feedback on it. Let me know what you think.